Right. Well, you know, thanks for having me here. Um, Jerry Schroeder, spelled G-E-R-R-I-S-C-H-R-O-D-E-R. -R -R -E I'm the city councilwoman here in the city of Henderson for Ward 1. Typical work day is kind of all over the place. I have meetings, I have briefings, I have events, some ribbon cuttings, um, and also making sure that my daughter gets to school on time, picking her up from school, getting her lunch. Uh, so, you know, I'm a mom, but I'm also a councilwoman. And so I kind of have to mix those together uh, throughout the day and uh, just figure out your priorities. Um, but usually during the day, it's especially in the summertime when I don't have to take her to school and pick her up from school. It's usually meetings all day or briefings or um, or I'm going to a ribbon cutting or I'm speaking at a luncheon or something like that. The difference between going to school and get education, which is really good to get because you, know, you get a lot of the the textbook, you know, the, the history of, uh, of being in office, in the elected office. But the best thing to do is to be involved in the community. A lot of things that they don't teach you in school. Um, they don't teach you about how to uh, handle um, homeowners association meetings. You know, what you should do over there because a lot of people will come to you and ask you for questions, advice, and they don't really teach you that in school, mm -hmm. but it's something that if you're involved in the community, then you know what the issues are. Um, you you, uh, you should uh, volunteer for different nonprofit organizations so that way you know what other issues are, whether it could be healthcare issues or whether it could be homeless issues or, um, or any kind of issues. It could be in the arts community. Um, you know, to know anything about cultural arts and tourism or, you know, something that has to do with parks or whatever. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah. so my advice would be, um, you know, go to school, get the education there. You can get all the history about how government works, but um, it would be good to also be actually involved in the community so that way you know what, what the issues are. Well, a lot of organizations need help. And so they are constantly looking for people who would be able to be in a position to help them. So they look through the, they look at the elected officials because we have a lot of contacts and we know a lot of people in town. Uh, but they also look for people who may be in the accounting field or the finance field because they need people to help them with their budgets. Um, or they're looking for attorneys to make sure that they follow the bylaws and the laws. Um, the organizations that I'm involved with, and there's, you mentioned, a diverse amount of uh, the, uh, different kinds of nonprofits that I'm involved with. Um, I'm involved with the I'm on the board of directors for the um, for Safe House, which is an organization who helps uh, women and children and men and transgender um, with uh, their victims of domestic violence. I also serve on the McCoskill and Mines um, board of directors, which helps educate children about mining in Nevada. There's a lot of important issues um, in our uh, in our country, in our state, in our community, and I, I get involved in a lot just because it's all they're all interesting to me and I want to help. And if I can help with just helping to take the minutes for a meeting, you know, then I'll do that. Or if they need me to help with um, finding a location for a new building, I can help with that. So yeah, anybody can help. There's all kinds of ways that people can help. So if they get involved in the nonprofit, whatever is close to their heart, it could be breast cancer awareness, um, or you know, which is this month. It's also domestic violence awareness month, um, or cancer research, or whatever kind, whatever areas that they're interested in. All they have to do is volunteer. They're always looking for volunteers to help out with different events, galas, 5K runs, whatever it is. Um, but I get involved just because I really care about my community and I want to help out wherever I can. Uh, well, what it does, again, it, it all comes back to community service. So my whole career, since um, I got out of high school, has been about customer service. How can I help you? So this is how it's helped me. It really feels good when you can help somebody else. And having all these experiences with all these nonprofit organizations and being involved in the community helps me understand what the issues are. So that way, in my position here on the council, I have the ability to help those organizations. most challenging part of my job is the schedule. 
um, trying to fit everything in. Um, I'm the kind of person that if you ask me to help out, I'll help out. I mean, you've seen me help out with the with the Miss Asian right. Las Vegas pageant. Um, you know, I don't have to be up in front of the cameras. I can be down over in the basement trying to help the contestants, you know, get yeah. from one costume to another costume. So it's just trying to find the, the time for everything because I get a lot of requests for a lot of different events, um, especially on the weekends. Uh, and if you want to get into elected office, you work 24-7, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at any moment. And there are times when there might be three events on a Saturday night that you're asked to, uh, to attend. So sometimes I just split that up. I might go to a cocktail reception at one event and then a, a dinner at the other event and then just kind of show up at the very end of another event. Just kind of split myself three ways. As long as it's close together, it's very difficult. There have been times when I've had to go from one end of town to the other end of town because I was asked to give an invocation um, to one dinner, but then I had to go to the other dinner because that was the one that I had already committed to. So. It's finding the time to schedule everything. If it's on my calendar, I go. But you have to make time, you have to make sure you put time on your schedule for traveling. So, it might take a half an hour to get from one end of town to the other end of town. So you have to make sure that whatever you schedule, that you schedule it where you're not, you don't feel like you're stressed, like you have to be someplace in five minutes when you're 35 minutes away. Well, the most enjoyable is when people come up to me and say, thank you so much for helping me. I didn't know where else to go. Um, just having those people, as long as if you're involved in the community and you help, then that's the best thing. Yeah, that's what I like the best, um, is having the ability to be able to do that. But, you know, when you get, I get thank you cards. I just got two today from people. Just, thank you so much for coming to our event. Thank you for, you know, for speaking, um, for taking the time out of your day. and. You know, really, it's my pleasure to do that. And um, taking time out of the day, well, that is part of my day. I'm not taking any time out of my day. That's part of my day. <laughs> yes, um, well, just to be involved in the community, because the more you know, and I'm a hands-on person. I'm a visual person. I have to see and feel and touch and, you know, what everything is. So get as much experience. Take tours of plants. Um, whether it's a, a chemical plant or um, or take a tour of a college or um, or just you know, talk to people. Um, if you're thinking about getting into elected office, go around to whether it's the city or the county and just talk with the um, those people who are already in those positions and say, hey, how does this work? And if I was to be elected to office, what is my role? How can I help there? And, um, and, and they're, they're more than happy to talk to you about that. So just be involved in the community, um, volunteer on nonprofits, and when people see how interested you are and, that, and how, uh, how hardworking you are um, and that uh, you, can, you show up on time and you work really hard, that, that's your reputation, that's your brand. And when people see that, they say, you know what, this person is going to be really good for this job because if you, um, if you say you want to do something and you volunteer but you don't show up, that does not look good for you. Mm -hmm. So my suggestion is to work hard, um, be dependable, be responsible, and uh, do something. You know? Well, thank you for having us today. Well, thank you so much for coming in and speaking to me. I really appreciate you coming in. You know, I'm a very uh, supportive person with DECA. I know many people who have gone through DECA, and some of them are my friends today. Wow. And uh, and I work with them now, through OCA and the mm -hmm. Chamber, and so. Uh, very appreciative of DECA. You guys do a really great job, and um, and you are you do get involved in the community. So um, I'm really happy about that. So thank, thank you for including me. I appreciate that.